embryo transfer is in one sense the climax of the medical treatment of an IVF cycle. Because in an IVF cycle, we help you to grow the eggs, we make the embryos. But it's only when we transfer the embryos in the uterus can you possibly get pregnant. So that's a huge milestone in your IVF journey. And actually seeing photographs of your embryos can be such an emotional moment because these are the embryos who are potential babies. And lots of patients will actually call them MBs. And that's why seeing photographs is a great idea because you know exactly what the quality of the embryo is, what its chances of getting pregnant are. So please insist that your doctor provide you with photographs of your embryos so that you know what the next steps are going to be. Now, once you've seen a photograph of the embryo, the next step is for the doctor to transfer the embryo back in your uterus with the hope that the embryo is going to implant. The good news is this is a very straightforward procedure. All you need to do is to fill up your bladder so that the doctor can do an ultrasound and then under this ultrasound guidance, the doctor will feed the embryo transfer catheter inside your uterus. Now with the ultrasound, we can see the passage of the catheter inside the uterus so that we know exactly where it is. But we can't see the embryos because the embryos are microscopic. It's only the embryologist who can provide you with photographs of your embryos and you must demand this. When we actually do the embryo transfer, the embryologist loads the embryos inside the embryo transfer catheter and this is what we then transfer into your uterus. So we see a little flash during the embryo transfer and the ultrasound. But remember, those aren't your embryos. Those are the air bubbles in which the embryologist puts your embryos so that we can track them after we transfer them into the uterine cavity. After we've transferred, whether the embryo will implant or not is not in anyone's hands. But best of luck.